how much they should and shouldn't play. So here we go for a right to play for a title. Let's play pickleball. start there so the dinking we saw from the fellas that is g-o-n-e it is going to be high octane pickle and we love seeing that from the ladies two good points in a row from Annalie waters and printown and honestly two pretty good points for the kawamoto sisters that's the that's going to be the difficult part for them right now they've played two solid points unfortunately came out on the wrong end of both Oh my, oh. Catherine, what in the world? I, what I think happened there, I think Catherine was gonna hit it. It, could, it was going out, but it was such an easy shot. Then Annalise said no, no, and it kind of threw her off a little bit. Sailed it long, but yes, ultimately, you shouldn't be playing balls that are gonna land two, two feet wide. <laughs> so let's see how Jade and Jackie take advantage of this. Stab, get herself. Got it. A little short on that one. So you played Roger, you played Rafa. I'm sure that happened to you. I'm sorry to bring up bad memories that were forever forgotten or not. We've all been, I'm not gonna say embarrassed, but yeah, taking some some beat downs from the greats in, in any sport. That's why they're the best, right? And Anna Lee accepts the challenge. She's like, I got better lobs than you, maybe. And throws that up there. Yeah, but how, if they start out and they make, like, how do you just get that through your head? Like, okay. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. That's nice from Jackie. Yeah, do you think some matches are lost before a ball has been hit? Oh, yeah. I've lost to Roger a couple times just because the. Walking out on the court and just, oh my gosh, I'm playing Roger at the center court, and that, this is too much for me. Yeah, I don't think that's the case here at all with the Kawamoto's because they have played against them a lot, not necessarily together, as you saw it just two times, and even in Major League Pickleball playing against them. Yeah, exactly. They're not unfamiliar with their game. No. as it was right there. Sometimes when you're playing Catherine and Lee, you just, you gotta throw curveballs at them. That's nice from Jackie. So they, they let the curveball last once. They're just <laughs> scared to run into a problem here. We'll see if Jackie switches or not here. It's a great serve. Oh, that was hit hard. I feel like Annalie does that better than almost anyone. She's at maybe four or five feet behind the kitchen line, and she'll take full cuts at balls. She's not, she can reset as well, but she's not afraid to be offensive on those shots. Oh, Ooh. no. 
just took her eye off it because you're looking at where they're at because you can't believe the four before that came back. Exactly. I think we're all surprised those came back. You gotta, you gotta laugh that one off. I like the lobs when everyone's set and digging in on the uh, dinks and in the battle there from that position. It's just not going to be able to get over them. I like that other tail on it just goes wide. wide. Oh, Nisha's like, again, if Onisha sees it. Annalise's dad signals oh. to her on the far side that it was wide. Yeah. Give her that peace of mind. Nice move from Jade there. So, hey, after uh, having a lot of rallies when they're serving not go their way, even though they got ahead, they're only down a couple here. They're hanging in, playing well. better conditions to play pickleball in right now. So I'm just thinking, man, I was oh. almost just sitting here quiet, spacing out, <laughs> enjoying the, the temperature. The show. <laughs> <laughs> just became a fan for about 30 seconds. Sam, you're part of the show. There's a show right there. Huh? Pruntown and Elite, when it comes to firefights, they're probably the best in the business. Yeah. Sneaks it down the line and keeps that in. No doubles alley here, Sam. No, and a good effort from Kathleen to get yeah. it back, but she wasn't able to get back and get the arm around and curl it back in. right in the corner pocket and that speed up from Catherine. The difference is Jade's a lefty, so there was a forehand there and she was all over it. Clean winner lob. Okay, you guys. Wow. The top spin clean little way yes, to love. that you, just happened. I've never seen that, actually. Again, the lefty advantage there. You have a long way to go to find a backhand on that side, Sam. It, it's basically impossible to hit a cross-court lob like that against the lefty.
Tree <laughs> cheated on those swings, Sam. Wow, that was a good rally. That was an incredible rally. I think we got about eight to ten full swings yeah. from, from all the ladies combined. It's a good look at the replay there. Yeah. Jade just couldn't come up with that last one, but four apiece here. just pulls it wide, but I love that she's got a first strike mentality here tonight. Oh, yeah, and I also love the Annalie Water. You heard the yeah at the end. Like, it's it's great to see her fired up. She's in a dogfight here, 5-4. Five, four. Five, four, Kyle are bringing it to him. Drop shots there, and the kitchen line are farther, Sam. They're winning with defense right now. Yeah. of that Vulcan V-Pro flight. I'm not sure how Catherine got away with that. She shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it. Jade, pirouette from AL Dove after the miss. Circle the ball like that, and she got to the perfect position to drop that back in, Sam. It just shows what an athlete she is. And she kept her balance and hit a, a great shot back into the kitchen from yes. there. That was done flawlessly. Good job from Catherine Parento. Kawamoto uprights there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I 
mean, <laughs> unbelievable. I think that was a tomahawk that Jackie had no intention of hitting just to make her hit another shot. Let me see this. Yeah. Wow. I mean, unbelievable paddle control. Hand-eye coordination yes. at its finest. Okay, they don't switch here, so no forehands in the middle now. Yes! Game point for Catherine and Anna Lee. For the Kawamoto's would love for her to do that more off her shoe tops right into a overhead almost. So one game point saved. Court there, Anna Lee had nothing to do but bail and throw up a lob. Exactly, it was just a uh, a great play from the Kawamoto's. Yeah. Anna Lee throws up the lob, but like we said earlier, the cross court lobs when they're in that formation, you just you can't find a backhand. Catherine yeah. finally gets one through there, but Anna Lee almost paid the price for speeding up through the middle again. Can they get within one here? in this highly contested game number one, game point number two. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join a pickleball league today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. Looking through that traffic. City is buzzing. Buzzing. I love it. Yeah, we mentioned uh, some of the celebs that are playing. Uh, there's a Maroon 5 uh, band member who's very good. Yeah, James Valentine, their lead guitarist. He's used to be a tennis player. He's gotten into people the last year or so. And his level is getting better by the week. Plays, I think, almost every day now. Just vicious rolls down at the feet of Jackie. So let's see if they can find their footing and push back here. I mean, Anna Lee was going for an Ernie and then was back in position. Are there two of her? Is there is there time travel? It's three of her. It's everywhere. Tweener alert. Oh, she wants this point desperately. Yep. Oh, but she couldn't come up with that, and she can't believe she was the one. You could just set up, you could see with the route she took what was coming in. But how about that tweener? Oh, yeah. It was a well-hit tweener. Yes. Watch it. Nice 
nice job from Jake. Was that, a, was that a lob from I don't LA know or a that third was. that just went a little yeah. high? I'm going to go with third shot lob just to give her credit, even though it did not prove to be fruitful. So they get two. Now that's pretty, just a short little angle. Here's a look at the tweener again. And those usually get you killed on the next one, and these points keep going when she hits one. Ooh, Jackie, tough break off the tape there. I love the idea. I do as well. So many good shots there. So many great resets from, from Catherine Parento. You can see him just looking to make moves. Yes. Off the tape wide. Yeah, she's even jab stepping everywhere. She's running routes out of here. Oh. Thank you. A little housekeeping. Thanks. Thanks, CP. See the Quebec flag up in the crowd here. Her, so she's got some Canadian fans going. Some hands from Catherine. Treating those Canadian fans yes. to a little show. Yes. She Gosh. did go. Oh, no way. They get out of this mess. Watch where this bounces. And they get back in. Now can they finish the rally and the comeback in this point? Do another soul crusher from Catherine and Anna Lee. The get from Catherine on the drop shot that you see there on the pickleball central replay is extraordinary. I mean, we thought we saw Dylan Frazier with maybe the get of the year or get of the tournament at least, well, but he's the silver medalist. You know now. what? We got to give a honorable mention to that get. Oh, I th I'm giving that the gold, Sam. Going in. Not quite. Great job getting it just enough spinning down away. So they had a hot start in game one. Kawamoto kept chipping away and got as close as 7 8 2 with the ball. So let's see if they can get going here. Sister non communication there. But also just a well placed ball yeah. from Emily Waters. Kawamoto's need to find a way to get on the scoreboard here. I know they came back in game one, yeah. but you can't let this lead to do get too big in game two. herself out of jail but didn't realize there were three more locked doors behind that five zip five nice down the line there Annalie's gonna have that aggressive middle court posture put it behind her right, usually when you're active and kind of looking you're, you're, you're pinching middle you're looking middle so that was a good job from Kalmoto's going behind her trying to do more of that to keep her on her side great job by Jay go ahead AL I got you okay down five get the ball back is this the spot to get going Oh, 
first one don't get near the kitchen. That's pretty from Jackie. Started with a nice top spin lob to just push him off the line a little bit, Sam. Yeah, and most importantly, gets him that point. Gets off the zero, gets him on the scoreboard. Anna Lee thought she missed it and then that around, around that number, they're actually. After review, the call on the court is overturned. The ball was in. Two timeouts remaining, two timeouts remaining. We'll resume play at 5 1 1. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's one of those that just, I think you were right, it just barely caught there, Sam. It's going back to the Brian Brothers that are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame later, oh, nice. or next year, excuse me. Brothers playing the Bryan brothers if they practice for a while and just haven't uh, embraced the pickle. No, they're, they're busy. They still are doing a lot of tennis events. And sure. They'd have to practice for a long time. A long time. To get some points against the Bryan brothers. Time. We saw them play earlier, yes, the Johns. Yeah. yeah. And they beat another very good pickleball team yes. with ease. Yeah, that would be a year long, and then I don't even know where that would even get them. Forehands on the outside. Oh, Jackie says, okay, Catherine defended Anna Lee's record here of clean winner topspin lob by just getting a paddle on that. And I almost feel like Catherine could have maybe jumped up and made a play on it. Yeah. But regardless, you see the effort from her. Just a touch, it's impressive. Just Jackie, it. just take the point. Just Hit it up the it. line. Let's move on. Oh, man. I, I keep what talking about having ball? drop shot class for everybody. That was deeper than the kitchen. Maybe the drop shot class should be no drop shots. Exactly. It's the easiest class it's not, of all. It's not a class. Yeah, the class is just don't do it. Second point for the Kawamoto's. Here's a chance for them to get going. It's just a little too high for him, Jade. Great move. And that's, the, the, that's why you don't see tons of balls return to Jackie, because she can throw that at your feet. And you can shake and bake. It can be a drop and crash, too. So you saw an immediate adjustment. I love it from Catherine. We don't want to deal with Jackie dropping the ball at our feet. Got it to Jade. Not that they aren't good. They're just a different level of special for Jackie. Okay. Let's see if they decide to stay. Let's see this signal. That was a weird signal she gave there. It's like hang loose. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, that means stay and return to Catherine. All right. Oh, La Bali goes deep. I've not seen 
whatever. Let's let's see if Jade. Okay, Jade just gives flat hand. Okay. Right. We understand <laughs> that one. Flat hand means they'll switch sides. Good shot from Emily on the run. In front of her. And Brooke Buckner, what a season she's had. She is without question the number two player in the race rankings in 2024. So here we go. Can they get a stop? The answer is yes. Them to call timeout by getting two or three here. That's the trick. So they do get another. <laughs> go, go, go! Play really good singles on the double. Screen. Exactly. Tennis a little different. You can be a very good singles player and go out on the doubles court and make a big difference and, and be very good yeah, and win yeah. doubles tournaments. Pickleball is a little different. There's some singles players where that singles game doesn't translate over to the doubles as easily. After that discussion, and look at this, seven nine one. Deja vu. Yes. Right, it'd be basically the same thing. Game one got to eight seven. We'll see if this can get to a nine eight. in there but pushes it deep 891 891 She saw it at the last second and wasn't in position so I love that she bailed no, she yes exactly she ultimately she made the yes. right decision Couldn't get it done, and now they're in the same spot, only that was 8-7. So this is 9-8, two points away. She should have gotten the next ball, but it was sped up at Catherine. That leads us to match point. And that'll do it. A great battle from four terrific athletes, but it is the top seed. Well, guys, we love a night match, and it was really fun to watch out here. Talk about finding your energy there at the end in this one. Oh, it was really important. I think we got a little bit down. Well, I personally got a little bit down, and then and then he was like, come on, come on, Catherine. And that really helped me to get that extra little boost of energy there at the end. And it's always, it's huge to have energy. It's, I think it's so important when it comes to playing pickleball. I mean, you, you can lose the momentum so quickly, a quick 
quick little two points, three points, you can not go your way, then you're like, oh my God, you need like to wake up, come on, energy. So yeah, it's huge. Well, the Kawamotos went through a little pickleball divorce earlier this year. They got back together for this one, which was fun to see them playing together. Their defense is so impressive. They get so many balls back. The lob is incredible. Talk about playing a team like that. Yeah, I know what it's like playing with family, and definitely there can be some ups and downs. But on the court, I think um, you're very supportive. You know you know what the other person's going to do, so it works out. I think the Kawamotos play really well together because of that. Like, I feel like Jackie knows what Jade's going to do, and Jade knows what Jackie's going to do before. I feel like they've set plays like set up. So it's cool to see a sibling duo um, on the women's side. Um, and they're a very good team. Uh, so I think when you're playing them, you just kind of have to remember kind of the same strategy against Elise and Tyra is just try not to force too many speed ups. They're great defensively. Um, they're very tricky. So just kind of playing your game and uh, sticking to the game plan. Well, you guys both play, play all three divisions. Contrast what you need to bring to the table in women's doubles to the other two divisions. Yeah, I mean, I think when it comes to women's doubles, uh, it's a lot, there's a lot of a hands battle, so you always have to be ready. Um, but when it comes to like singles, I mean, it's a very, a lot of energy. Um, so it's all three the events, I mean, it's pretty different, different, but when it comes to women's doubles, I feel like you need even more energy because it's just, you never know um, who you're going to play against and there are really good teams out there. Congratulations, ladies, and good luck on Sunday. Thank you.